people, what's up? Today's video is all about my red tie bee tank and the baby explosion that's been happening in this tank. Now, crazy story, this tank was not doing very well for a, a long time, for months. So I decided to reset the tank and 90% done removing all the moss off the bottom and lo and behold, there are hundreds of tiny baby shrimp. So the tank obviously was doing better than I thought, but because I had already deconstructed it and moved so many things and set up a tank for them, I had to go ahead and complete the transition, move them all over, and it took me three days to find all of the babies. There were so many newborn babies and so many tiny week old babies that what you see here is just the adults, the juveniles and the babies that were big enough for me to see on the first day. So there's probably about a hundred shrimp in this breeder box, but I mean, I pulled out over 200 babies total and which is great. So I'm really excited about that. I ended up setting up a 5.5 gallon tank for them. Um, that is on the small side for shrimp, but because I am experienced and I'm comfortable with it, I know they'll do just fine. Um, I have a growing shrimp room and I don't have room for lots of really, really large tanks. So I set up a shelf just for 5.5 gallon tanks and I'm really excited about it. This tank, I moved over all their boosts, their moss and all their um, ornaments and stuff into the tank and they've been in it for over a week now and they're doing absolutely wonderful so far. So, I will soon make a video on this 5.5 gallon shrimp shelf, which I think you guys are really going to love. Um, and also, here we have them being put into the tank. And as you can see, I mean, I absolutely love red tie bees because of the variation in color and patterns that comes out. It's, it's amazing to see what you get. It's fun. It's like having CRS shrimp, but like so many different colors and patterns. So it's so much more fun. Um, and they're super hardy as well. So this is a great um, opportunity for people who are into Caradina shrimp to try out a hardy shrimp, which are Thai bees, which is a tiger crossed with a Taiwan bee or a tiger crossed with a CRS. Um, that's what a Thai bee is. I'm dumping them into their 5.5 gallon tank and I absolutely love the shrimp. is a 5.5 gallon tank. I'm never gonna have like 1,000 shrimp in this tank. It's not gonna be one of those tanks. Um, it's gonna be a tank where as the young shrimp get to juvenile size, I will be selling them. So it'll kind of be like a revolving door of breeding and then selling juveniles. And this is gonna help keep the population at a manageable amount without overpopulating the tank because overpopulating can cause issues. Uh, various issues which I'm not going to get into but that's why I don't like to overpopulate my tanks. I'm really excited about a couple of the videos that I have coming up. Today you know was just kind of chill and relax talking about these shrimp but the next video I have coming out is about my well you know what <sighs> you know on second thought I'm not even going to tell you guys I'm just going to put out the video so please stay tuned like and subscribe for more content and thank you so much for watching. Wow.